Hello, hello, this is Bedwin Goodall and welcome to the first official episode of my own show. I know, can you bear it, I ask myself. In the background, you're listening to In the Shadow of the Mountains from my album Kissed by the Sun. You may have heard already the two special shows I made on the story of my musical life so far. Well, Chris and Steve of One World Radio were impressed enough, the fools, the fools, to give me my own show. And so I'm going to be making a at least one show every quarter. And the idea behind the show is to play you uh, all the very latest music coming out of MG Music, which is Medwin Goodall Music, which is my own record label. So not only my own music, but the music of the artists I represent. scenes chat and uh, the premieres of new music the first time anyone will get to hear it some making of stories and general madness But I'm still getting used to the fact that it's 2017. I had to pause and think which year it was then for a minute. They're going far too fast, aren't they? I'm still in 2015, I think, mentally. What happened to 16? Did 16 happen? I didn't get the memo. Down in my neck of the woods in Cornwall, UK, it is really cold. It's bright and sunny, but it's absolutely freezing. I'm just ready for spring and thaw my toes out. So what have I been doing? I recently finished and released Echoes of Emergence. For those of you that have been following my music for a very long, a very, very long time, my first album was Emergence back in 1987. And because it is my 30th anniversary in music this year, See, you've got to work it out quickly. 87, 97, 2007, 2000, yes, it's 30 years. <laughs> Had to get a calculator out. I have re-recorded that very first album. I haven't um, rewritten it as such. I've just reimagined it, re-recorded it by keeping to the original composition and and not letting myself create a sequel as such. Just a bit of nostalgic fun, really. The album is now out and uh, it is called Echoes of Emergence. You can find it on my website, which is three W's and my name.
The original idea of the album back in 87 was um, it was inspired by a visit to Halford River, which is in Cornwall. Halford River is a very, very deep, long estuary. So it's all very tidal. And I was there very early in the morning and uh, thinking about what on earth am I going to do with my very first album. I've been given this opportunity. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Fret, fret, fret. And I was just sitting there and the mist was just hanging over the water, just hovering and it looked very ethereal. And I thought, that's it. I'll see if I can capture that. This track is called Misty Morning Across the Water from the new version of Emergence which is called Echoes of Emergence. Another track on the album was uh, Man on a Mountain. The original one was called Man on a Mountain and it's now called On a Mountain to avoid the confusion between the two versions. And uh, it was lots and lots of arpeggios. Um, but on the second version, I've introduced uh, an acoustic guitar strumming and finger picking, which has just made it a little bit more lyrical and less like Bach. The first version was very Bach like, lots of mathematical arpeggios going on.
And that was the track on a mountain from Echoes of Emergence. I'm going to play you one more track from this album, and it is called The Spring Tide.
have launched a new YouTube channel. If you go to my website, which is three W's, medwingoodall.com or .co.uk, and you look at the homepage, at the top of the homepage is the menu, and on that menu you will see a tab called YouTube. If you click on that, you'll be taken to a page that shows you three links. One link is the original YouTube channel, which is called Medwin Goodall. And on there you will find all our music videos and podcasts. The second link on that page will take you to the Medwin Goodall show, which now has its own channel too. So that if you miss the show after broadcast, or you just want to hear them again, all the episodes from this show will be on that channel on YouTube. However, the third link is for a channel I have called The Sleep Farm. Groovy title, isn't it? (laughs) But being serious, it's amazing how many of us suffer from sleep disorders of some kind. A lot of insomniacs out there. Um, Either it's something like tinnitus... Or it's just stress. We live stressful lives and we can't get to sleep. Fretting and worrying about things. Or it's a medication you take and it's got a side effect that keeps you awake. Um, Or a medical condition of some kind. We all suffer from the, the inability to sleep at some point. And music and entertainment, documentaries, whatever you're listening to to try and quiet your mind or distract your mind from just sitting there and thinking and the frustration of it. It can be um, too entertaining and it keeps the mind too active or it's too short and it stops and you have to wake up and find something else to sort of entertain you in some way or occupy your mind. And so I have found that nature sounds are the natural remedy It's written into our DNA that we can't help but respond to nature. It is very soothing, naturally soothing. And so I have created this channel, which is entirely free to listen to. And each sound is 10 hours long. So it won't wake you up. It won't disrupt you or disturb you. You don't have to get up and switch it off or change channel or find something else it'll just keep playing for as long as you need it to and on this channel you'll find everything from rainstorms and thunderstorms which some people love to listen to a storm at night It's um, they find it nice to curl up warm and think there's a storm outside a lot of us like that um, there are gentle waves, pebble beaches, birdsong, woodland streams. Just about every sound and environment you can think of we are creating. There's already 10 or 11 in there and we're adding more all the time. So do subscribe if you want to, uh, if you find that channel interesting. And tell your friends who suffer from sleep disorders um, because it'll help them. Moving on to other new releases, my good friend Witch Hazel has released his third Celtic album in a row. It's not exactly a trilogy, uh, an official trilogy, but the three albums are related in style. His first was Beltane Moon, and I think we'll just have a little listen to that now.
Oh, he's right good, isn't he? I love his dulcimer. It's the way he plays dulcimer like dulcimer. It's really good at twanging. <laughs> uh, what came next? Well, what did he do next? Oh, yes. Last year he released Arcana. One of my favourites. I think Chris is a natural at producing Celtic music because of his background having come from Runestone. And Runestone were um, a slightly more pagan sound. Uh, more closer to my um, Druid album. They were very influenced by that. And then he went solo and produced albums like the Shaman Trilogy and very Eastern influenced albums. But then he, his heart found its way back to uh, the Celtic style with Beltane Moon. And then came out Arcana.
and more recently his new release is In Search of Lemuria which I think is a fantastic title and concept The Lost Island of Lemuria not quite as famous as Atlantis but along the same lines so let's have a listen to uh, Witch Hazel as he finds Lemuria
Paul Sills has also been very busy as always, and he has just released a very new album. He's uh, exploring a new style, a new direction to add to his ensemble. And it is called Electric Storm. And I think he was influenced by the fact that I did an album called The Portal. And The Portal was um, inspired by the early albums of Vangelis and Jean-Michel Jarre, like Oxygen and Equinox. And, um, and so I did Portal. I'm going to sequel Portal at some time, maybe next year. And I think Paul really enjoyed the fact that I'd produced that and uh, was inspired himself to do a similar style uh, with Electric Storm. So let's have a listen. Probably should uh, point out that no synthesizers were hurt in the making of this music.
that was Kinetic from Paul's new album, Electric Storm. I'm going to play the third track from the album now, which is called Static Rain. You don't get that in Cornwall. What we get is rain that's sort of very heavily dense, soaks you within at least 15 seconds and is usually at 45 degrees. <laughs> Static rain. <laughs> Not down here, me dear. We get great globules, we do. Cows love it.
And we are rapidly coming up on the hour, the end of the first show. I hope you enjoyed it. There is so much more to come, particularly this year uh, with so much happening. Um, I can give you a quick uh, insight into what's coming and in the next show. Uh, and the next show should be uh, Shame and Fall. Clips from Shaman 4 from Witch Hazel, which I keep teasing him about because <laughs> he, he wrote Shaman is a trilogy, and this is the fourth album in the trilogy, so go figure. Whole new definition of the word trilogy. Now no, the trilogy means four. Sorry, mate. also be music from The Sorcerer's Daughter 2. That's right, I have finally got round to doing the sequel. I always intended it to be a three-part story, and it has taken me ages to get to the second one. By popular demand, um, I hear fans out there really want me to do it. There will also be a huge big drum roll, not in the next show, but possibly the show after that, the third or fourth show. There will be music from Medicine Woman 6. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you won't let me stop doing Medicine Woman, apparently. I've got to do it for life, I've been told. original Sorcerer's Daughter um, has always remained one of my favourites. I think it's got this emotional, slightly melancholy sound to it. Um, it's a gentle um, Celtic style as opposed to when I do clans. The clan trilogy was much more warrior based, much more big drums and drama, whereas The Sorcerer's Daughter is much more lyrical, a little bit classical, and it's a, a gentle story, and um, I'm really looking forward to doing something that's a little bit more Lord of the Rings in style, following on from the first one, keeping the style the same. And so I am playing The House of Elders from the original of the Sorcerer's Daughter.
until the next time, keep warm and safe. Bye for now. <laughs>